Well, I was going to shoot a segment out in the nature today, but the battery ran out, so I had to shoot it back at home. Tell you what I've been thinking about is doing a experimental segment where you choose my own adventure. See, I'm pretty bad at decision making, not very disciplined, so I thought, what if I got my YouTube audience <laughs> involved in making decisions and uh, adding a little bit of accountability to my life. I was thinking that this could be done in a lot of ways. Like I could do ones where I, you know, just say, would you like to see me walk here or would you like to see me walk there? Would you like me to see me do a video next on this or a video next on that? But uh, to start with, I was thinking of a slightly longer experiment in the upcoming week where uh, you help me decide how I'm gonna spend my time. So here's the background. I am done with this hypnosis class I was taking and I've got my hyperbaric chamber that gives me a little bit of extra energy to get stuff done. So I can get a little bit more done than I used to be able to during the day. So I have some free time before the next round of classes start and I was thinking for the next week maybe I could focus on one of three different things. And this focus won't be absolute. I'll still be able to do all three things, but it's really just a matter of how many hours am I going to spend on each thing. So the first thing that I was thinking was focusing on my health. So I got the hyperbaric chamber and I spend maybe four hours a day in there right now maybe two to four hours a day in the chamber and I can do stuff in there. I don't have electricity in there, but I can use the computer till the battery runs out, which I got a new battery. So that is about uh, an hour and 40 minutes or so. I can use the phone um, and I can write with my pen and paper. Um, could do breathing exercises, that kind of thing. So, but besides that, there's other stuff that's on like my health plan for my chiropractor that I don't really do all the time, but I do some of the time. And I could amp that up and add in some more things that I do on my own. So, like some of the things that I do or I'm supposed to do are sunbathing, like around noon every day, get at least 20 minutes of sun. Um, I'm supposed to do the cardiovascular exercises at least three times a week to build up my stamina where I go walking or jogging at a certain heart rate. Um, there's breathing exercises that I'm supposed to do 20 to 40 minutes a day and other stuff. So for example, I could do, I could make a whole schedule like an upcoming week where I do mostly that stuff, maybe focus on other health issues like doing more fresh foods than I normally do, preparing like more juice for myself that I don't normally like to spend the time on, like making celery juice and stuff because you have to clean the press and everything. Um, and uh, there's meditation and other stuff that I like to do for my mental health too, journaling. So I could make up a whole routine based on that. That would be option one. So I would spend most of my hours doing health related stuff, sort of like a retreat at home. Maybe some yoga, I see my yoga mat in the background. Option two would be to spend a lot of time, spend the most of my hours every day making videos, like that's my full time job, just I have lots of, I don't even have to film them to do that, honestly. I have lots of footage that's not edited already. So I could post one video a day 
and I can edit in my chamber so I can still do that part. Maybe I won't quite get to one video a day because I've never tried that before, but that could be an option. So I can do that, focus on building my audience because they talk about how the best way to build your audience is to post often and if you want to be a full-time blogger, vlogger, you've got to be doing it almost daily these days seems to add to my life and draw in opportunities and things that I want even if I'm not making any advertising money it helps in other ways to introduce me to new people new opportunities so like I said I consider that sort of like a career and if I ever do something else like release a, a book that I would really like to do then I'll already have like an audience built in to uh, sell it to. So in some ways that's very important for health because creative expression is a really large component of health and connecting with people socially is a really large component of health and giving, sharing your own personal gifts with the world. So even though it has nothing to do with running or eating it could end up being the same, having the same effect and it could end up introducing me to somebody like when I went to the health retreat where it has a beneficial effect in the long run like say I meet a guy who watches my YouTube videos and we get together and he eats this specific diet and I start eating the diet that he eats and that turns out to be really good for me that kind of thing could happen. The third focus would be to clean my house. Now if I don't focus on that, stuff is still going to get done because there's stuff that needs to get done, but like only maybe the top 10% most urgent things or easiest things to do will get done if I don't focus on it. But I could spend, you know, eight hours a day just on household stuff because it's always, always behind. Like, like normally I might clean the kitchen and just leave it at that but if I was going to really focus on things I could mop the floors, I could take all this stuff out of the tool drawers that are moldy inside that they need to be cleaned out, put back in, have all the tools and stuff arranged in it because every time I open it it's just one of those horrible frustrating things where you dig around and you can't find what you want. Um, taking out all the shelves in the refrigerator and soaking those and washing those. Um, my, ho my house is leaking. The water here is so corrosive. It eats through all the spigots in like six months. They start leaking. So every, there's three spigots on the outside of the house. They're all leaking. I actually have the water turned off to the house most of the time because they're leaking so bad that um, they're probably wasting hundreds of gallons a day. So that's like a big thing that I have to do that I've been avoiding because I don't have the proper tools and I have to go to the hardware store and get the stuff and I'm not really strong enough to undo them. So I have to like get all these wrenches and aids to get them undone and it might not happen even if I do that and it's just a really big pain in the butt. And then there's car stuff that still needs to be done to see if I can make it better for me because the car is still um, poisons me a little bit every time I drive it with the exhaust. So I need to poke around there and see if there's anything that I can patch up to keep the exhaust away from the cab and keep fumes from spilling out. And... Uh, there's just a number of things like that. I mean, I could go on and on. I could list stuff that I have that I don't want on eBay and start mailing that away. It's a huge project. So, so those are the three things. I can do self-styled health retreat. I can do vlogging, daily vlogging, or I can do clean and fix everything that like I said there'll have to be some overlap because like I have to get exercise for Mercy and for me or I get too stiff and painful. You know I can still do that stuff and post one or two vlogs. 
I have to do some of the most important household tasks because they're just a constant stressor and they're gonna keep wearing me down until and, 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 and like impeding everything else until I fix them. Let me know. Vote in the comments for what one of those three things you should think I should focus the most of my time on, like eight hours a day on. And I usually get like 100 or 200 views in the first 24 hours. So after that, I can look at the comments and see what people think. And hopefully that there's enough input that it's fun to actually decide and not just based on like one or two people or it comes out a tie or something.